so the next topic is motion in a vertical circle motion in a vertical circle imagine that a body of mass m attached to one end of the massless and in extensible string execute circular motion in a vertical plane with the other end of the string fixed so this is the picture we can easily understand the vertical circular motion this is a string attached with the mass of the bob that is the mass of an object uh, one end of the string is connected to the mass of the bob the length of the string becomes radius r the length of the string becomes radius is r of the circular path let us discuss the motion of the body by taking the free body diagram the short form is fbd free body diagram at a position where the position vector r vector makes an angle theta here makes an angle theta position vector makes an angle theta now with the vertical downward direction where the position vector makes an angle theta with the vertical downward direction and the instantaneous velocity is shown in the figure 4.14 there are two forces acting on the mass one is the gravitational force which acts downward another one is the tension along the string so there are two forces acting in this string the mass of an object one is the gravitational force another one is the tension force so gravitational force which acts downward tension along the string apply the newton second law of on the mass in the tangential direction so what is the second law of motion second law of state that f is equal to mg here this is a force gravitational force mg sin theta because acting in a vertical direction so opposite to the angle theta is in the, it is represent mg sin theta so this force is the uh, gravitational force which is equal to tension force is tangential force is nothing but mat mat that means mass into acceleration both are equal so mat at is nothing but tangential acceleration tangential acceleration take as a minus dv by dt because acceleration what is the definition of acceleration acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity so here this is the tangential acceleration so that is why minus dv divided by dt so just substituting the value of at through this equation we obtain mg sin theta is equal to minus m into dv by dt so dv by dt is nothing but tangential acceleration in the radial direction in the radial direction first in the tangential direction this is consider as a tangential direction this is consider as a radial direction radial direction means tension and radial direction is opposite to each other so tension t minus mg cos theta mg cos theta is equal to m a r a r r means centripetal acceleration a r is represent centripetal acceleration so what is the formula of centripetal acceleration a r is equal to v square by r just substituting the value of a r can be written as v square divided by r so t minus mg cos theta is equal to m into v square divided by r so this is the radial direction in the radial direction there are two forces one is the ten, uh, tension of the string and another one is the mg cos theta force acting in a radial direction so there are two kinds of force acting in a radial direction one acting towards to tension of the string another one is the acting mg cos theta direction so total force acting on the radial direction is t minus mg cos theta is equal to centripetal force is equal to centripetal acceleration also acting centripetal acceleration centripetal force m a r a r is nothing but centripetal acceleration so a r what is the formula for a r a r is equal to v square divided by r just substituting this value we obtain m v square divided by r m v square divided by r is nothing but centripetal force 
So T minus mg cos theta is equal to mv squared divided by r. The circle can be divided into four section. Divided into four section for better understanding of the motion. One is the A, B, C, D. There are four section. Better understanding the motion. Four important facts to be understood from the two equations are follows. Two equations are follows. First equation is first point is the mass is having tangential acceleration. The mass is having tangential acceleration is nothing but g sin theta for all values of theta except theta is equal to zero. It is clear that this vertical circular motion is not a uniform circular motion. So first condition is mass is having a um, tangential acceleration. So g sin theta for all values of theta except theta is equal to zero. It is clear that this vertical circular motion is not a uniform circular motion. First point is vertical circular motion is not a uniform circular motion. Second point is from equation. 4.28 this is a 4.28 and 4.29 it understood that the magnitude of the velocity is not a constant magnitude of the velocity here velocity is dv by dt here the velocity is v square by r magnitude of the velocity is not constant in the course of motion the tension in the string is also not constant the third point is very very important point please note it down the equation 4.29, this is the equation 4.29, clearly says T is equal to mg sin theta plus mg square by r because rearrange this equation, this mg cos theta term moves towards to right hand side minus mg cos theta become a plus mg cos theta. So T is equal to m plus mg cos theta plus mg square by r. So the equation can be written as T is equal to mg cos theta plus mg square divided by r. Highlights that in section A and D, yeah, section A and D, this section A and D of the circle for minus pi by 2 less than theta less than pi by 2, minus pi by 2 less than theta less than pi by 2, cos theta is positive, cos theta is positive, this cos theta is positive, so this is less than, uh, sorry, minus pi by 2 less than theta and less than pi by 2 condition this a and b section for the circle the term so cos theta is positive the term mg sin theta is always greater than the zero hence the tension cannot vanishes even when the velocity vanishes so velocity vanishes even velocity when the velocity vanishes the tension is not cannot vanish third point then the fourth point is the equation 4.29 mv square again rearrange the equation mv square divided by r is equal to t minus mg cos theta t minus mg cos theta here mv square by r is equal to t minus mg cos theta further highlights that it section b and c section b and c here section b and c says of the circle for pi by 2 less than theta less than 3 by pi by 2. This position is pi by 2 less than theta then less than 3 pi by 2. Cos theta is negative. In this part cos theta is considered as a negative. The second term is always greater than 0. Hence the velocity cannot vanishes even when the tension vanishes. Velocity cannot vanishes even when the tension vanishes. These points are to be kept in mind while solving problem related to motion in vertical circulation. So this point, these four points is very very important for you. Are solving problem related to motion in a vertical circle. The next important uh, thing is the diagram 4.15. Clear. Only consider the two points of the motion. One is the lowest point. And the one, another one is the highest point. Lowest point is represent 1. Highest point is represent 2. From this diagram, to start with, let us consider only two position. Say the lowest point 1 and the highest point 2. 
from the figure. For further analyze, let the velocity of the body at the lowest point 1 be v1 vector and the highest point be v2 vector and the v vector at any other point. The direction of the velocity is tangent to the circular path at all position points, all points. Let t1 vector be the tension in the string at the lowest point and the t2 be the tension at the highest point and the t1 be the tension at any other point. Tension at each point acts towards the center. The tension and velocity at these two points can be found by applying law of conservation of energy. So for the lowest point 1, when the body is at lowest point 1, the gravitational force mg vector which acts on the body vertical downward direction vertically downward direction and the other another one is the tension t1 acting vertically upward direction towards the center of the circle from this equation we get t1 minus t1 minus mg because both the forces acting uh, on the lowest point in the opposite direction that is why t1 minus mg is equal to mv1 square divided by r this is the centripetal force that is why t1 minus mg is equal to mv1 square divided by r so t1 is equal to rearrange this equation the minus mg goes to right hand side what happened minus mg it become a plus mg so t1 is equal to mv1 square divided by r plus mg the next for the highest point 2 at the highest point 2, both the gravitational force mg vector on the body and the tension t2 vector acts downward direction. Here, both the forces mg and t2 acting in the downward direction. So, downward direction that is towards the center, center again, t2 plus mg because both the forces acting in the same direction. That is why t2 force plus mg is equal to mv2 square divided by r. So, rearrange this equation, this plus mg goes to the right hand side, what happens? Minus mg. So, t2 is equal to mv2 square divided by r minus mg. So, from equation 4.31, this is 4.31 and the equation 4.33, it is understood that the t1 value is greater than t2. The difference in tension T1 minus T2 is obtained by subtracting equation 4.33 from equation 4.31. So, T1 minus T2 is equal to, so just substituting the formulas, mv1 square divided by r plus mg for the T1 minus T2 value is mv2 square divided by r minus mg. So, minus term multiple to the inner side term, what happens? Minus mv2 square divided by r minus and minus plus plus mg. So, the equation can be written as t t1 minus t2 is equal to mv1 square divided by r plus mg minus of mv2 square by r plus mg. So, mg plus mg 2mg. Here, remove the common term. m by r is the common term. So, t1 minus t2 is equal to m by r. This is the, that is the common term. Remove the common term. Remaining term is v1 square minus v2 square. So, T1 minus T2 is equal to M by R into V1 square minus V2 square plus here Mg plus Mg is nothing but 2Mg. Mg plus Mg is nothing but 2Mg. So, the, the term E1 square minus V2 square can be found easily by applying law of conservation of energy at point 1 and also at point 2. The term V1 square minus V2 square can be found easily by applying law of conservation of energy at point 1 and also at point 2. So, the total energy. Now, let me ca calculate the total energy at point 1 E1 is the same as the total energy at point 2 E2. So, according to the law of conservation of energy, E1 is equal to the E2. So, the potential energy at point 1, u1 is equal to 0 by taking reference as point 1. Kinetic energy at point 1, ke1 is equal to 1 by 2 m of mv1 square because 
at lowest point the object move from lowest point to the highest point so that is why the potential energy at the point the lowest point one is zero because the object which is start from lowest point to reach that the highest point so only the kinetic energy acting on the object at the lowest point the potential energy uh, must be zero so the equation is kinetic energy at point 1 ke1 is equal to 1 by 2 mv1 square but the potential energy u1 is equal to zero so the total energy at point 1 e1 is equal to u1 plus ke1 so u1 value is zero ke1 value is half mv square just substituting this value we obtain 0 plus 1 by 2 half mv as a 0 plus 1 by 2 mv1 square is equal to 1 by 2 mv1 square similarly potential energy at point 2 u2 is equal to mg into 2r why because this height is considered as the diameter of the circle diameter of the circle is nothing but 2r because radius radius plus r1 r plus r is nothing but 2r so the object reached at the highest point means the height of the object is considered as a 2r because diameter of the circle here potential energy formula is mgh h can be written as 2r so h is 2r from the point 1 so u2 is equal to mg into 2r so the kinetic energy at point 2 ke2 is equal to 1 by 2 mv2 square so total energy at point 2 can be written as u2 is equal to u uh, e2 is equal to u2 plus ke2 what is the value of u2 mg 2 mgr 2 mgr what is the value of uh, ke2 1 by 2 mv2 square just substituting these two value we obtain 2 mgr plus 1 by 2 mv2 square can be written as from the law of conservation of energy given by 1 by 2 mv and that means e1 is equal to e2 e1 value is half mv1 square is equal to e2 value is 2 mgr plus 1 by 2 mv2 square here this is the e1 value e1 value is 1 by 2 mv1 square here this is the e2 value e2 value 2 mgr plus 1 by 2 mv2 square these two values e1 and this is a e1 and e2 both the values are substituting in equation 4.35 we obtain this step 1 by 2 mv1 square is equal to 2 mgr plus 1 by 2 mv2 square rearrange this equation what happens this 1 by 2 mv2 square goes to the left hand side minus 1 by 2 mv2 square so of mv1 square minus of mv2 square so remove the common term of m is the common term remove the common term we obtain v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 2 mgr 2 mgr this m m cancel to each other we obtain the the denominator term 2 goes move towards to right hand side means 2 into 2 4 so m m cancel to each other the equation can be written as v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 4 gr because m m cancel to each other this denominator term 2 go moves towards to right hand side means 2 into 2 4 so v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 4 gr substituting equation 4.3 in equation 4.34 we get 4.34 this is the equation 4.34 v1 square minus v2 square can be replaced as a 4 gr because now only find out the value of the v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 4gr just substituting the value in equation 4.34 here t1 minus t2 is equal to m by r 4gr into plus 2mg that is the step t minus t1 minus t2 m by r 4gr plus 2mg r r cancel to each other so 4mg plus 2mg is nothing but 6mg 4 plus 2 6 so therefore the difference in tension is t1 minus t2 is equal to 6 mg minimum speed at the highest point 2 now let me calculate the minimum speed at the highest point 2 the body must have minimum speed at point 2 otherwise the string will slack before reaching point 2 and the body will not loop the circle to find this minimum speed let us take as the tension t2 is equal to zero in the equation 4.33 in equation 
4.33 year this is the equation 4.33 can be written as 0 because t2 is equal to 0 so 0 is equal to mv2 square divided by r minus mg rearrange this equation mv2 square divided by r is equal to plus mg mm cancelled each other v2 square by r is equal to g so v2 square is equal to rg v2 is equal to root of rg this is the equation so here 0 is equal to mv2 square divided by r minus mg so rearrange this equation minus mg goes to towards to left hand side what happened mv2 square is equal to plus mg m m cancel to each other v2 square by r is equal to g so v2 square is equal to the r denominator term r move towards to the right hand side in the numerator side v2 square is equal to rg so the square is goes to right hand side move towards to right hand side means v2 is equal to root of gr so the condition is this is very very important condition please note it down children because this is a very important objective question the body must have a speed at point 2 v2 is greater than or is equal to root of gr to stay in the circular path so this is very very important point children please listen carefully the body must have a speed at point 2 v2 is greater than or is equal to root of gr to stay in a circular path so here this is the highest point it should be greater than the root gr the velocity greater than the root gr so v2 is greater than or is equal to root of gr to stay in the circular path minimum speed at the lowest point 1 so to have this minimum speed v2 is equal to root gr at the point 2 the body must have minimum speed also at point 1 by making use of equation 4.36 this is the equation 4.36 v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 4 gr here v2 square value v2 value is root of gr so just substituting the value v2 square means gr the root and the square is cancelled to each other so v2 value is gr just substituting the value we get v1 square minus v2 square is equal to 4 gr v1 square is equal to v2 square value is gr so v1 square minus gr is equal to 4 gr rearrange this equation minus gr goes to right hand side means plus gr so 4 gr plus gr is nothing but 5 gr so v1 square is equal to 5 gr plus 5 gr so v1 is equal to square term goes to right hand side means v1 is equal to root of 5 gr so the condition is in at the lowest point the minimum speed at the point lowest point 1 v1 greater than or is equal to root of 5 gr greater than or is equal to the root of 5 gr to stay the circular path to stay the circular path from the equation 4.38 and 4.39 it is clear that the minimum speed at the lowest point 1 should be root 5 times more than the minimum speed at the highest point 2 this point is very very important for your objective time then problem question also from equation 4.3 and 38 and 39 this is 38 v2 is equal to root of gr then this is uh, uh, 4.39 v1 is equal to root of 5 gr minimum speed at the lowest point 1 should be root 5 times more than the minimum speed at the highest point 2 so that the body loops without leaving the circle so this vertical circular motion topic is important 5 more question for your uh, fourth lesson motion in a vertical circular thank you very much student